Okay, we are doing the um, solutions for the mock exam for geometric sequences series. Just to remind you of the formulas you have um, on the formula sheet, they are uh, the term uh, equation, which is un equals u1 times r to the n minus 1. Oops. Let me put this here. And the sum equation, which is Sn equals u1 times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Or you could just reverse those 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And those are both the same. And if you're going to put that in your calculator, make sure you put parentheses around the bottom. All right, <clears throat> the seventh term, U7, of a geometric sequence is 108. The common ratio is one-third. Find U1. Okay, so this one, you would use the term equation, right? You would say UN equals U1 times R to the N minus 1. But UN... What would be UN in this case? Well, let's say that it's um, U7. Okay, so we'll put 108. And then if we put 108 for UN, we're actually saying it's U7, not just UN. U1, we don't know what it is yet. That's what we're finding. And then uh, R is 1 third. And then N minus 1 would be 7 minus 1, which would be 6. Okay, so now um, we could uh, we could divide both sides by one third to the six. Okay, and then um, we would have one hundred eight divided by one third to the six is equal to u one. So let's simplify that. I mean, not simplify. We'll calculate it out. We calculate it. 108 divided by one third to the sixth. 78732. Okay. So U1 is 78732. You notice that r is one third, so the first term is actually quite big, and the seventh term is small. Then it says find u8. Well, we know u7. We just need to find u8. There's two ways to do this. If you know that the seventh term is u um, is 108, the eighth term you could find by multiplying the seventh term by one-third. Okay, so one of the ways you could find the eighth term would be you could take 108 and multiply times one-third because the seventh term times r would equal the eighth term. So the eighth term is actually 36. Okay, and then um, the other way you could do it is just the regular way. You could say the term equation, except instead of the UN, you're going to say U8 R to the 7th. Why R to the 7th? Because it's at minus 1. U1 is 78732. R is 1 third to the 7th. Now let's put that in the calculator. 78732 times 1 third. to the seventh, not sixth. Oops. Seven. Thirty-six. See? So two different ways to get the same thing. So U8 is 36. 
Find the sum of the first 10 terms in the sequence. So we're going to take, uh, you know, either one of these. And in this case, actually, this one is the more convenient one because um, it's for small r's. But either one is going to work. Okay. So we already know that it's the first 10 terms in the sequence. So What's n in this case? It's 10. U1 is um, that huge number, 78732. And then it's 1 minus 1 third to the nth, which is 10. 1 minus 1 third in the bottom. Okay. So be really careful when you put this in your calculator. Make sure you put parentheses around the denominator, otherwise you're going to have a uh, calculator error. And make sure you write out the formula with the correct substitution because that's worth one point. Um, even if you mess up putting this in your calculator, third to the tenth, whoops, Tenth divided by one minus a third is two thirds. Two thirds. So the answer is one hundred eighteen zero nine six. Okay. Next page. The population of Bangor is growing each year. At the end of 1996, the population was 40,000. At the end of 98, the population was 44,100. Assuming these annual figures follow a geometric progression, calculate the population of Bangor at the end of 1997. Okay, uh, this is one of those word problems where I said it's good to write everything out because as you can see, they're not talking about a bunch of different years. They're talking about all the years within like a 10-year span. So you can write everything out. So why not write everything out? So let's say this, the first year they give is 1996. And the other year they give is 1998. So since they don't give 97, we'll leave a space. 1996, the population, at the end of 96, the population was 40,000. At the end of 1998, the population was 44,100. I like that they're giving all the populations at the end of the years, because then we can just uh, assume that they're one year apart or two years apart, right? It gets complicated when they start giving beginning of the year, end of the year. In this case, they give everything end of year, so that's fine. The population at the end of 97, so that would be here, okay? Um, so, how would we figure it out? How would we figure out what this number is? Well, we know it's a geometric progression. So, um, what if we just said, uh, what if we figured out the R value, the common ratio? If we figured out the common ratio, then all we need to do is multiply 40,000 times the common ratio, and then we would get the value for 1997, right? So, how can we figure out the, the common ratio? Well, let's say that we make uh, 1996 uh, U1. So like the value for 1996 is 40,000. So we're going to make 1996 into uh, position one and then we're going to make um, we're going to make 40,000 into U1. And so what would be 44,100? It would be U3, right? So if we know U3 and U1 um, we can figure out, and we, and we know that uh, the IN value here is, is 3, we can figure out the R value, okay? So we'll put U3 equals U1 R squared. So it'll be 44,100 equals 40,000 R squared. So how do we get R by itself? We divide both sides by 40,000. And then we get 44,100 divided by 40,000. 44,100 divided by 4,000. 
1.1025. So r squared is equal to 1.1025. Then we take the square root of both sides. And then we're going to get, let's see, we do that in a second. Square root. And the answer. 1.05. So R is 1.05. Now that we know R is 1.05, it's very easy to find the 1997 value. Because the 1997 value, let's say it's U2, is just equal to U1, which is 40,000, times R one time. Right? Why one time? Because it's 2 minus 1, N minus 1. So 40,000, we could almost do this without our calculator times 1.05, 42,000. So A is 42,000. OK. Um, population of Bangor at the end of 1992. Hmm, this is interesting. They're asking us for a number that is in the past, not in the future. Where would that be? So we have 1995, 1996, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91. Whoops, we don't need 91. So up to 92. And then we have, um, so we want to know the population here. Now how could we figure that out? Um, there's a couple ways to do this. One is that you take the 40,000 and instead of multiplying by R to get the next one, you divide by R to get the previous one. And then you would just have to do that a few times. Like here you go, to go jump back to 95, you would divide by R once. To jump back to 94, you would divide by R again. To jump back to 93, you would divide by R again. To jump back to 92, you divide by R again and then you would have that number. You could do that repeatedly with your calculator. Okay. The other way you can do it is you could use the term equation. Okay. And the way you do it with the term equation is, is, is uh, um, you would rename your U1. Okay. So like we said that 1996 was U1. Um, but that was before we knew that there was 1992 before it. So let's do this. Instead of calling 1996 U1, we'll call, forget what we did before. And now I'm going to, I'm going to put it in blue so that we can differentiate here. So now U1 is going to be 1992. And then U40,000, uh, 1996 is going to be, let's see, U2, U3, U4, U5. So now we're going to call 1996 U5. Okay, and then we're going to say, okay, U5 equals U1 times R to the N minus 1, which is 4, right? So R hasn't changed. R is still the value it was, which is 1.05. And U1 is now um, the value here, which we don't know, okay? So that would be... Um, Let's put it over here. So you would have uh, U5, which we say is 40,000, because it's the blue 40,000. U1 times 1.05 to the fourth. And so then we divide both sides by 1.05 to the fourth. And so we have U1 equals 40,000 divided by 1.05 to the fourth. Okay, and then we're going to divide 40,000 divided by 1.05 to the fourth. Oops, did you see that was uh, not quite typed in all the way. So the answer is 32908. 32908. Okay?
So um, basically, it's the same as, as what we talked about before. I, I said that you could actually get this value instead of multiplying by r from 40,000, you divide by r. If you divide by r one, two, three, four times, you're going to get back to 1992, and then you would have the same value. We can do it with the term equation. If we do it with the term equation, we get the same result. We divide uh, by 1.05 to, uh, to the fourth, and then uh, you end up with the value for u1. But you see that you have to rename everything because we did u1 with 1996, u3 with 1998. Now we're going to do u5 with 1996, and then we're going to figure out what 1992 is with u1. Okay, so we have the red numbering system to figure out the first uh, part of the problem, and then we use the blue numbering system to figure out the second part of the problem.